Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about what happens when the narcissist leaves and never comes back. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. When the narcissist leaves and never comes back. Although we often talk about narcissists who are very jealous, possessive and controlling. Yes, there are narcissists who can erase you from their lives like you never existed. Which is a very painful experience to go through. Because it makes you feel like you never meant anything. When all of a sudden they deliberately become less close to you. And then they just forget about you. They forget about all of the past events that connected them to you, as though you were never a part of their life. They lack empathy. They struggle to understand your feelings, problems and life situations, because they have difficulty understanding and regulating their own emotions, an inability to control their own thoughts, feelings or behaviours, which is why they may often come off as insensitive or uncaring. And it's why they may struggle to govern themselves by voluntarily creating and following their own rules and guidelines. Instead, they may even break laws or organisational rules, simply because they struggle to hold their emotions in check. It's like they need to be physically restrained in order to be kept under control. Which is why they may show excessive criticism, and they may be very impatient, while displaying minimal forgiveness poor listening skills, self-centeredness, and victim blaming. It's like they're physically present, but they're not really there. Because they have a personality disorder that inhibits their ability to connect and communicate. As a result, they may experience a lack of awareness because they didn't have strong role models in childhood for empathetic behavior. And instead, they may have had many models who were unempathetic, so now they struggle to care about anyone other than themselves. And they find it difficult to care about helping or listening to others, which severely affects their ability to maintain healthy relationships and affect positive change in their community. And they may also be surrounded by other unempathetic people while they reject you and treat you as unworthy of serious consideration because they're superficial uncommitted and half-hearted. So they act silly, inappropriate, dishonest, disrespectful and sarcastic. Because there's no cause for alarm. They're not worried or concerned about you. Which is why they banish you and set you aside. And they actually get pleasure in doing that. Because they are sadistic. And it really changes your perceptions on things when you witness how they can pretend like they don't know you as though you never existed. But it's because they view people as tools that nurture their own life. So a relationship with a narcissist will only ever be transactional. And even then, it won't be an equal exchange. It will be one-sided. It will be about what you can do for them and never about what they can do for you because they can't do anything for anyone. They have a lack of empathy which means that they can't even seek you. Because they can't even regulate their own emotions, so they're not even in reality. They're trapped inside their own heads, which is why they make so many false assumptions and they have so many uncertainties because they believe their own BS, which is interesting because narcissists are empty vessels, so they can only respond to external stimuli, which then becomes an interject which can seem very confusing because that means that all narcissists have learned these behaviours from each other. But then the first ever narcissist to ever have existed must have adopted these behaviours from a genuine person, someone who actually did the work, which makes sense because if we look at narcissists today, that's exactly what they do. They mirror successful people but they don't take the steps to create anything for, for real on their own. They just use people to make their own lives better. 
because they view people as extensions of themselves. They crave validation and admiration, but they lack genuine empathy, which makes it easy for them to discard you. Narcissists have a dysfunctional ego. They feel unimportant, which then causes their super ego to take over, where they then aim for, for perfection because they feel insecure. Even though outwardly, they may appear confident and they may have friends, family, enablers and flying monkeys that support them, but they're just pretending because they want to deceive you, which is why it's often so extreme. It's unnatural because it's not naturally who they are. So they're not living in reality. They've just constructed a fantasy world because they need validation and attention. And they don't have any empathy so they don't care. It's all about them. They don't care about your feelings. As long as they feel good, that's all that matters. In their minds, a relationship should be all about them. It should fulfill them. Because they do not have the mental bandwidth to consider your needs and emotions. Which is how it's so easy for them to get rid of you and move on. A relationship will only ever be transactional with a narcissist. So they will only ever do something for you if they anticipate getting something in return. The act of giving or sharing something with you doesn't do anything for them. Which is why they are primarily focused on the exchange of services or benefits because it's based on how you can make their life better for them and on what you can provide to validate their false image and keep them in a position of control. Which is why if you can't fulfill their needs, they will just move on. Because it's not about you, it's all about them. Because they lack the emotional depth to form genuine connections, so they are not capable of obtaining information and then having a perception of it that is not superficial. They cannot explore the deeper meaning of people or things. Which is why if you have disappointed them and you're not doing what they want you to do, they can quite easily get rid of you. So the only way that you can sustain a relationship with a narcissist is by abandoning yourself. You have to become a shell of a person so that they can mold you into whoever they want you to be. Because the only way that a relationship will work with a narcissist is if you just do whatever they want you to, to, to do to make them feel good. Which means that you can't remain in the relationship without destroying yourself. But before you even come to this realization, they will abandon you first because then you're no longer doing what they want you to do. And by abandoning you, it makes them feel better because then they feel like they're in control. And they need control because they have a fear-based mentality, which narrows their focus, restricts learning, blocks compassion and creativity, and makes them more self-centered, impatient and judgmental. The narcissist will discard you unexpectedly and without warning, and in any cruel way without feelings. It's like one minute you're close friends, and the next minute you're invisible. They will cut off all communication with you. They will want to avoid any accountability or confrontation because they do not want to be confronted with the truth about themselves. They do not want to see you or hear from you ever again because that would bring up shame after how they have treated you. It would make them feel like a bad person and they do not want to feel that way about themselves. So they will avoid you because it's not about you, it's about them. They lack empathy and emotional depth, so their relationships are superficial. And once they no longer have a use for you, they will detach from you without any accountability. And they will move on very quickly. They will find someone else to validate them and make them feel special. And they will leave you behind because you are just something to help them advance or achieve something. They may not forget you, but you are never anything of significance to them. They never cared about you, which is something that you may never be able to understand. 
but it's because their emotional needs were not fulfilled in childhood. So now, they are unable to pair bond. They cannot form a close relationship with anyone. It can only be transactional. And that's how they're able to move on. That's how they're able to discard you. It may be very upsetting for you, because you do have the ability to pair bond. So of course you're going to feel something when they've cut ties with you. And it may affect your self-belief, self-worth and self-confidence until you begin to feel like you're invisible. Because you were always there for them and you did everything you could to help them. Which is exactly what they wanted because they wanted you to serve them. But you shouldn't blame yourself. Blame their disorder. Blame their inability to connect. It is not your fault that they do not understand connection. But you were able to connect to them. So that means that you can connect back to yourself. It means that you can rebuild your self-esteem. Which is very important for you to heal from the abuse. So have compassion for yourself. Set healthy boundaries. Validate yourself. And engage in activities that bring you enjoyment. Surround yourself with people who can connect to you. People who do appreciate you. People who are kind, loving and compassionate. Because this will then help you to rebuild your self-confidence and self-trust. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paywall.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.